Weech Old Bead Art is a hobby that I've developed a real passion for over the past couple of years, although I've been exposed to it for most of my life. My father's Mexican, and my parents from time to time would collect items of Weech Old Art, either Weech Old Yarn Art or Weech Old Bead Art. The method used for creating the commercial Weech Old Art is uh, taking a mixture of uh, beeswax and pine pitch and pressing it onto a surface, and then using that sticky uh, medium to press yarn or beads, tiny glass beads, into onto the board or the, the form and creating uh, patterns and color. For some reason I feel very connected to this Weechel form of art, partly because its origins are uh, creating to create prayer bowls and using imagery pressed into gourds or bowls or onto um, mats that are meant to be um, to draw the gods down to hear our prayer. Also, when I was a little bit younger, my father received a visit from Chintito, who is a pretty well-known uh, Huichol shaman. This is Chintito. And I had the opportunity to meet with him here in California and be blessed by Chintito, the shaman. And then years and years later, you know, long after that experience and much life had passed, I, I somehow independently came upon Weechel uh, bead art as another, as a hobby that I'm interested in. I thought it would be fun to show you how this art is made. Maybe it's something you'd like to try yourself, but it's a lot of fun. I find it meditative and it's like painting with beads. <laughs> a lot of times I make smaller items because they're, they're uh, quicker to produce and um, there's this kind of satisfying to finish a project within a day or two, you know, and have something to show for it. Um, so I, I do a lot of smaller animals and um, Dia de los Muertos skulls and things, but lately I have embarked on a more ambitious project, which is a moon and what, uh, what will be a sun over here. I have to fill all this space with tiny little beads, um, but I love it. It's just, you know, something I can do while I listen to audiobooks. Relax. So what's needed for this kind of art is some kind of surface, uh, a form or a, a board or something like this, a shell even, or, or a, a gourd, and um, a mixture of beeswax and pine pitch. I make my own by melting beeswax and pine pitch. And if I can find some pine pitch in it from a natural source, that's even better. It just makes it more fun for me. I like working with natural um, products that I can find. And a little bit of oil like paraffin or something like that, just to make it a tiny bit slippery. Um, I use size 11 glass beads. Sometimes I use an awl like this, but I prefer to use a porcupine quill as a tool. Now I'll just give a quick little demonstration of how a project like one of these would start on an empty form like this. My passion is studying the hunter-gatherers of the ancient Southwest, and this passion involves a lot of travel, a lot of specialty higher education, anthrop anthropological education, and the purchasing of specialty reading materials, and it's a never-ending quest for knowledge. And so since I wake up in the mornings just itching to create this Weechel bead art, I love doing it. It's so much fun for me that I've developed kind of a, a large collection of items that I've created. and. Uh, I have nowhere, nothing to do with them. The joy for me is in the creating and not in the keeping. So I've decided to sell my art as a means of supporting my studies and my travels into the ancient Southwest. Please go to my website, theancientsouthwest.com, where you can link to my Etsy shop and see my latest creations. 
I thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have happy travels. Bye.